I always feel like social media may be the tip of the iceberg that you allow people to see, but it's everything underneath the water that they don't see. And I always like to say it's the work we put in when nobody's watching that really matters. It's easy, I think, when you go to work, you got a lot of people around, you galvanize everybody, you can feel the momentum and the energy start to go. But it's the stuff you do on your own, away from everybody, really that matters. So you got to put in the work. How hard do I work? I, I work hard. You know, if you want to perform well in front of millions, then you have to be willing to put in millions of reps when no one else is watching, which is how we define the unseen hours. I have to work. I have to work. I have to do something with my own two hands. So I have a philosophy these days that you've got to put in the work with our own two hands because this is the stuff that you can control. We control the controllables, as we say. I'm a huge believer there's only two things in this world that each and every one of us can control 100% of the time. And that's our effort and our attitude. Each and every one of you has the ability to control your effort and your attitude 100% of the time. And you need to learn how to let go and untether from the things you have no control over. The good news is you have an opportunity to influence and direct your future. You have an opportunity to influence your right now. And while the past that you have gone through may be challenging and difficult, uh, may be embarrassing. You can't hide from it, you can't erase it. You can learn from it. And you can help influence other people from it too as well. Any mental, physical, or emotional energy you waste on something that is in the rear view mirror and it is in the past and is unchangeable means you don't have that energy to invest in the present moment where you can still make a difference. I can't control what the world throws at me. The world's gonna do what the world's gonna do. Yep. But I am 100% responsible for my response to what the world throws at me. And that's the only part that I need to worry about. Mm. So we, we don't control almost everything in this world. I'm of the believer the only things we control are our own effort and our own attitude. Mm. So for me, that's the things I try to double down on. That's and when I don't get my preferences in life, which happens a lot, then all I can do is change my response. Getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else, and grounding my thought process is in the no one will outwork me. No one. I love and I respect you guys. You motherfuckers won't outwork me. It all starts with this. Two hands, putting it to work. And when it comes to effort, I assume, like all of the other high performers I've worked with, you all would agree that working hard is a choice. You work hard because you choose to work hard, and I agree completely. But what most people don't acknowledge is there has to be another side of that coin. If working hard is a choice, then not working hard? Yeah, it's also a choice. And it can't be a choice that you make very consistently if your goal is to be the type of producer and performer that you're capable of. So each and every one of us needs to make the commitment to give the best effort possible as consistently as possible. You're a little better today than you were yesterday wake up tomorrow let's be better tomorrow than you were today my number one competition is me it's always you versus you you got to be the one to get up every morning be disciplined put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success no coach no trainer no mentor uh, no boss can do it you versus you the best example I can think of or the best analogy is if you were ever tasked with building a brick wall don't worry so much about the wall instead focus on the bricks don't worry so much about the wall, but worry about laying each and every brick with care and precision. Because if you can lay each and every brick with care and precision, guess what? The wall will take care of itself. See, the secret's in the bricks. It's not in the wall. And when you can learn to lay each and every brick with care and precision, the wall will take care of itself.